Hallelujah. Hear a scripture in 119.8 where it says, When I consider all your commands, I will praise you with an upright heart. Yes. I learn your righteous laws. I will obey all your decrees. You do not utterly forsake me. The Lord will never forsake us. And we are here to show how good of a God he is through all the things that we've come through. We thank God today. We thank you for staying with us. Amen. 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 The Bible says, let there be
love right now. Those that may be watching the live right now, let the love continue to flow in your home. Know that God loves you unconditionally. So no matter where you at right now, no matter what you're going through, even if you fell down, man, just get up and confess it and let his love fill you. Yeah. Let his love
wait too long. We don't know the time or the place. When he's coming. And also, God forbid there's something that happens to you. You know, as I was watching a video, you know, I like put pictures on Facebook. And it showed a young man. Wait. 
sister and brothers out there. And I give a shout out to Iris yesterday that called me and just kept encouraging me last night and saying, man, I, you know, I got to come. She's going to be here with us for the holidays. Amen. And the whole family is coming out here. Amen. So you see what I'm saying? God connects people for a reason and no matter where you go, what you do, man, God, well, you know, you have a family. Amen. Like I have full gospel tabernacle, which I want to give a shout out to them out there. I love you guys and continue to pray for us and continue to intercede for us and, and keep us. Amen. Amen. God is good. Can I get some water? Oh, okay. Amen. <laughs> what's my name? To, I mean, what's my message today? Let's say it together. Just say it. Word. Say word. You know, like we say in New York. Come on, say it together with me. Word. We come to give the word, you know? <laughs> Forget about it. Amen. And Carlos, I hope you're watching me out there. I miss you here. I want to message with you today. Amen. And your beautiful mom. Amen. I forgot her first name again. Tabby. Tabby. Yes. Tabby. Amen. Tabby. Yes. You're a man like Tablita. <laughs> but God is good. Amen. 
But this morning, before I get started, again, I want to give God thanks, amen, and pray before we start real quick, amen. Father, I thank you for this opportunity again that I can come here, here to Love Wings Ministry, Lord, and be able to share with my sisters and brothers, Lord, Father, what you have, Father, which is your word, word, man. We come to give the word, Father, Lord, that your word that continues to sustain us and keep us, my God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and again, I bind and loose anything that will try to hinder this word from going forth to touching my brothers and sisters out there and stirring their spirit and getting excited, Father, Lord, because I come to flame the fire that, it, that, that you put in them, Father, Lord, to reignite them, Father, Lord, to have a joy and a peace and a strength, knowing, Father, that in you we can do all things. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even healing right now. You see, uh, the Bible said you know you must ask to receive. Amen. Yes. See, and this is the thing you got to really believe and trust for your healing and your deliverance. Amen. Amen. Because God is still a God of deliverance. Amen. And we know that old Stanley is out there trying to dis to deceive you and to destroy you. But I come in the name of Jesus Christ today of Nazareth to tell you, you can do it in Christ. Amen and amen. amen. God is good. I'm on fire this morning. So don't mind me because I want to speak with fire. See, we've got to get bold in life. Amen. You want something, you got to claim it. You got to believe it. Amen. You got to climb that mountain. Amen. amen. No matter what's in front of us, we have power to overcome all things. Now, what did I say? Our, our thing today is just what? The word. The word, man. Amen. I'll be saying to you, nothing but the word. Right, Charles? Amen. Now, how did Jesus overcome Satan? We know that Jesus overcame Satan's what? Temptation. When he did what? What did he do? He spoke the word. Saying what? Amen. It is written, Jack. <laughs> Wait a say, Jack. I have to explain that. It is written. Amen. You can't do nothing to me. See, I know who I am. I know my mission. I know who God is. He's my father. And that's the same relationship that he wants us to have. Again, father and son, daughter and son. Why keep saying that? Because that's, what it, that's a true, intimate knowledge of who God is. Amen. And the power that he can give you today if you just let him in. Amen. So let's go to Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. Let's get right into the, dig into the word. Amen. Matthew chapter 4, verse 10. And Jesus said to him, away with you, what? Satan, oh, snaggle to who I call, for it is written, you shall, what? Worship the Lord your God, and him alone you shall, what? Serve. You see, that's how he started. Remember, I did a teaching, and we were talking about there were three angels, and Satan was in charge of the worship. This is why he doesn't like it when we worship. <laughs> hey, because see, God, had, we have taken over his place. John 1, 1. Remember, in John 1, 1 says what? In the beginning was what? Let's say it together. The word. Come on. In the beginning was what? The Word. And the Word was with who? With God. And the Word was God. Amen. Is that simple? I mean, that's ABCs, man. Hallelujah. Red Collins, if you're watching me. <laughs> Amen. That's the Word, man. And that's what I come to share. You know, I, I love serving the Lord. I love because you know what? I've been delivered. I've been sanctified. Amen, right? You know, we've been delivered, we've been sanctified Amen. in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Through Jesus, right? Through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Amen? But also, if you want, write this down. Remember this, that we are what? More than what? Conquerors. Amen. We are being, we are more, I mean, we are what? Overcomers in who? In his name. We're overcomers in his name. Amen? In 
other words, what I'm trying to say, let's go to Isaiah 55, verse 11. Who has it? Isaiah 55, verse 11. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to excite y'all. Amen. Let's get excited. Amen. Let's just Amen. get into this. Amen. Who has it? Isaiah 55, verse 11. Amen. Amen. In other words, she's saying what? In the same way my words leave my mouth and they don't come back without what? Results. Amen. They don't come back without results. My word makes the things happen. Yes. This is in like that. Make things what? Happen. Then I want to be what? Happy. Then success in what? Doing what I said them to do. Amen. God wants us to have what? Success. But also, don't you want to have success? I want to have success in what I do. Amen. Everything that I do. But in order to get that, you got to give what? 50%? Huh? You got to give 100%. You got to give it all. You see, there's nothing that we can't do if you set your mind to it. And your heart to it. Amen? Amen? You see, what's in a man's heart, that's who you are. What's a woman's heart, that's who you are. But what you're setting, what's in your heart. What are you thinking about? What's more important to you? What is your first priority? Even the, the disciples that walked with Jesus and saw the miracles came up to him and said, what should we do first? He said, first, not even, uh, just follow me. He says, but uh, what? Seek first the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God doing things right, man. Amen. Again, remember that in the same way that my words leave my mouth and they don't come back to me without a result, my words make things happen. You see, then I want to happen. Then I want to happen. Then success in doing what I set them out to do. Amen. We sometimes we gotta get authority, man, because the devil binds us. We get in, we were talking about deliverance. We we spent like a couple hours talking about deliverance. Go ahead. Paula. Paula in New York. God bless you. I love you. Amen. Uh we talk about deliverance. Huh? And Iris, I love you, Iris. Amen. <laughs> My daughter, amen. But she knows what I'm talking about. Also, God has what? A, a source of what? Healing power. Right? From his word. And who talks about that? It's through David. Remember, David knew how to get out of situations. David knew how to touch God's very heart. Amen. Amen. We have all this knowledge, all this understanding that is what? Word. Amen. Because word accomplishes what it's set out to do. Amen. Remember that God spoke of healing power of his word through who? Through David. Who has Psalms 107, verse 20? He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. From and whose destruction? destruction? Their from their destruction. Amen. Amen. This is right, Paul. What is our destruction? We get into our stinking thinking. And not trusting God and say, let me put it in God's hand and pray about it and wait for the answer. Hallelujah. See, we got to remember, man, that my sister and brothers out there, you've been delivered. Amen. When you accept Christ, you've already been delivered. The thing is, how do we stay in that, in that realm, in that delivery? How do we walk, so to speak, in the supernatural? We got to continue to feed this, this heart and this spirit with the word of God. We got to continue to also continue to believe and let no doubt come into you. Now, how do we stay in that realm? I can only share my testimony. I stay in the Word because why? I continue to renew my mind. I continue to not only renew it, but I continue to take action and walk in it and, and listen to me. Really, I believe the Word. Amen. At the end of the day, that's what all that matters, that you believe the Word and that you trust the Word, that you know that that direction is going to take you to your destination. Amen. Amen. Remember, God has spoken about healing and power. Again, 
I've been through some physical thing, and not to say that I might not go through something, but I know where to reach and what to trust and what to believe in for my own healing. Amen. You see, I don't let the circumstances dictate my spirit and my will of who God is. That's the truth. And I don't know why people, because we, 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 we forget the essence of, of, of true healing and miracles are still happening today. Right. But in order for a miracle to happen, you got to believe. You can't have no doubt, you see? Because then a person with doubt becomes what? Unstable. You see? You got to really believe. And how do you get? You got to really ask God, come into my heart. Man, show me. Amen. But you got to dig in. You got to search those scriptures and you got to apply them, not just speak them. It's not a religious thing, it's a life thing. And I, I don't know how to share it else but the truth. Amen. And my way of sharing. Amen. In other words, again, he said what? He sent his word and he healed them from their own destruction. In common living turn, he gave them a commandment and healed them so they were saved from what? The grave. That's what they're saying, really. You're saved from the grave. Amen. He promises eternal life. Oh, I hope you're getting this. Amen. Because I come to bind and to loose this morning. Amen. Remember that the word that we speak with authority affects, it accomplishes the things that, that pleases God. Amen? Amen. God's words promise us that it will what? Prosper. Amen. You see, because when we're talking about him, amen, you know what I'm saying? When we're talking about what he said to us, amen, you know, that word is truth. Amen. That word has power. Amen. In other words, like I'm always saying, all we do is we've written all you preachers, everybody out there that's quoting the word of God. It ain't about you. And God already did it. God gave us the word. All we're doing is repeating it to each other. And that's where we come to that segment of saying, continue to renew your mind. What did God say? What did Jesus say? Amen. What is God's heart desire for your life and mine? Amen. What is the power that we receive in having that true relationship with God? And knowing that the power he bestowed upon us. Jesus even said it, you're going to do greater things than me. Wow, that's a statement, man, like, right? Yeah. You're going to do greater things than me. So remember that the word, when it's spoken, it comes out with authority. And it's effective because it's the Father's word. Amen. Amen. But in order for that word to be affected in any sense, you got to really believe it and trust it. And those that hear it, it would what? It would change their lives. It's up to you and me. This is why I talk about relationships so much. Amen. Remember, words have the power to create. Is that the truth? Yeah. Word has the power to create. If you keep telling a person you ain't nothing and they keep believing that, they're going to think of themselves as nothing. But if you tell them there's something and they're, 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 they're uh, 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 a royal priesthood, amen, they start, you know, applying that into their lives. So the word has power. It has power to lift up and it has power to kill. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Who has it? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. Amen. Remember, words have the power to create. What's coming out of your mouth? By faith we understand that the universe was formed as, at God's command, mm -hmm. so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Yes. Faith is, helps us, in other words, to understand that God created what? The whole world, right? By what? By his commandment. Amen? This means that the things that we see were made by something that cannot be seen. Amen? How did God create the earth? The Bible said he just spoke the word. And it came into what? Existence. You see? And I, I, I thought about it and I learned that. Why I keep saying, 
I speak something and I, you know, I, you know, like you get a thought, right? And you say to yourself, well, I want to do this, so I want to buy this, or whatever, whatever it might be. You spoke it, now you have to believe it, right? But in order to receive it, you got to keep going after it, right? Keep reminding yourself, not losing faith, but keep doing it. But at the same time, you're working for it. You're activating yourself to get that what you want. Amen? Amen. And when you do that, God said, I am with you. Amen? When it's the right thing. Amen? Because again, he says, I want you to prosper and be successful. But he also says, put me first. Don't put any idol, anything before me. That's right, y'all. Amen. You follow me. Remember that words have authority. Jesus spoke the word with what? Authority. You see, when you're that empowered with God's presence in your life and understanding who God is and who you are, in the Lord. Amen. You have power. So when you speak, others will hear because they know that you're speaking with authority. Amen. You see, there's something that's, you can't buy that. Amen. You can't purchase that for only one way. Amen. By living it, by believing it, and by trusting it. Right now? Amen. You look so beautiful today, even though you look every day. I like the, the combo. Amen. just want to say that. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Natasha. Amen. And Nina. You know, it's funny. You got to. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait. You see, when you come in too many times, come here, both of you, for a minute. No, they got to see this on camera. Come here, come Because stand up. Look. See, we so coordinated, man. I, I, and, and I said, man, I have to put my, this suit on in a while. So let me put it on today. Look at And they didn't know what I was wearing. They didn't. Look, look. Look at the, the dress. <laughs> you see? That's unity. That's one mind and one accord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We do look good and walk good. Because we are the raw priesthood, right? right? I'm a bad mama jama in the Lord, man. I ain't no joke, man. I'm Betty Ramos. Amen. That's Natasha Ramos. Amen. That Nina Davis, man. We walk with authority. We walk in the power of love. Amen. See, we ain't no joke, amen, because you know what? We know who we are. Amen. He that is in us. Yeah. Don't mind me getting out there. Yeah. Yes, I want to talk about God. I want to brag about having that relationship with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Luke chapter 4, verse 36. Again, remember, words have authority. Jesus spoke the word with what? Authority. Amen. Sock it to me, somebody. Amen. Going back to the 70s. <laughs> Come on now. Y'all are just slowing me up, man. Come on. Let's... All the people were amazed and said to each other, what word is this on his authority and power? He gives orders to the pure spirit. Amen. 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 It says what? So they were what? All amazed and spoke among themselves. Bochicheros, like we say in Spanish when they see something. <laughs> they spoke among themselves and saying, What a word is this? Man, they're talking about that. What word is this? For with authority and power, he commanded the unclean what? Spirits. And they came out. Don't you know that you have the power? And we got to remember that and start preaching that. You know, that's what we would talk about, deliverance. Yes. It's still here today in miracles. It's up to you. But, you you know, we got laid back. No, man. I bind and loose in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, delivering you, my sister and my brother. Amen. Everyone that I meet. Amen. Because God has anointed us, what, to preach the gospel, the truth to set the captives free. Yeah. There's demons out there, man. There's all kind of demons that are attacking so many brothers and sisters. Yes. We got to identify them and we got to, and how do you do that? You really got to have a true intimate relationship with, you got to be an intercessory prayer and God will show you things. And this is why I always pray and say, Lord, give me what 
to say when it's needed to say because we need deliverance every day. Amen. 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 You hang out long enough for people, you get to find out where they're at. And that's what you focus on. Okay, they need this now. I know where they're weak. Amen. Lord, I'm going to, man, I'm going to pray. I'm going to believe. Amen. I'm going to intercede for that person. I'm going to say, man, they got doubt. I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus. But I'm going to show them by not just speaking the word, but by living the word. Yes. Amen. Oh, Father, thank you. Don't you know the power that you can have and receive? But you got to really know God. I'm not talking about just reading the book. I mean being the book. Amen. Amen right? Being the book. Thank you, Lord. Word in and word out. Don't you get it? This is that simple. Remember that. Let's say it together. Word in, in word out. and word out. Word in and word out. Come on, one more time. Word in and word out. What God's given me, I'm going to give to you. Amen. So the word that God has put in my heart, I'm going to share with you. Amen. Amen. I don't come to joke around because, you know, the devil ain't joking around. He wants to destroy you. That's his main thing. He don't want you to have a good relationship. He don't want you to, to, to be happy. He wants to destroy that. He's still out there. We get, sometimes we, we get in a sort of a coma, so to speak. We just go to church, we do our little thing, we hear the message. And no, man, it's living life and knowing and being ready and, and, and you know what, and activate yourself to know that there's demons and things that are out there trying to get you down to not go to church, to not get involved, to not read the word, to not get empowered. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's the truth. To not believe in your own healing. I didn't accept what they said to me. I said, whatever you got to do, I'll do it. But I'm going to continue to believe because my father has the last word. Amen. I don't care how it looks in the natural. This is why we got to walk yes. in the spiritual, man. You know what? Not in the natural realm. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus. I hope they get what I'm saying. I, I'm stirring their spirit. Father, even right now, tuning their ears. Remember, word in and word out. Word in, word out. It is good to know the word, but until we meet our what our situations, amen, in our life, with what? With the word of God. Spoken out of whose mouth? Out of your mouth, out of my mouth. We will not have victory. Amen. We will not have victory, my brothers and sisters. Remember that Jesus spoke the word with what? With authority and power. Yes, amen. Amen. You see? With authority and power. I'm sorry I get excited, but I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to get into your brain right now. Amen. I'm trying to, uh, you know, renew your mind and your heart at the same time. Don't let things go, man, around you, man. Get involved, man. Get, man, get deep into it. Who's going to benefit you? Because you have authority and power that you can receive right now to bind and to loose. If you want, write this down. Number one is believe the word. She put it up, right? Put it up, Victoria. You put it up. There you go. Write it down. What is the first one to say together, everybody in here? Believe. Through loud, what? Number one? Believe the word. Number two? The word, sowing seed. Right. Number three, receive the word. Accomplish miracles. Amen. Miracles are still happening. You receive. Uh, I got the title there. Okay. You know why you haven't received a miracle yet? Because you don't really believe. That's the truth. In order for something to happen, you have to believe. Am I right or wrong? Yes. You have to believe. There's no way of getting around it. You've got to have a true understanding of the word of God. Not just reading it, but understanding and living it in your life. Amen. You don't got to be a, 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 what was the word I'm looking for? You don't have to be, a, you know, a, a theologian. You don't have to have, all you got to have is a true heart. 
God doesn't look at you. He don't get impressed by the way you talk or by the way you dress or, or the things that you think that you have. He looks at the heart. Thank you, Lord, that he looks at the heart. Now, he'll give you those desires because he wants you to look good. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to be happy. Amen. Amen. Because he's a God of love. And he's always what? Preferring us. Yes, amen. Giving us time, chances and chances and chances that we don't even do that to each other. But he does. Oh, I want to speak truth into your life, my brothers and sisters. Remember that word, that the word of God cannot fail. As we continue to do what? To speak with authority and have, and what? Dominion. Amen? Amen. It is like the seed which is grown, will grow rather, and produce what? Fruits. Amen? Yes. It will produce fruits. It will produce a mighty oak tree. Even, we know that, right? As farmer had done and pulled up seed week after week and month after month to see it what? Grow. Amen. Yes. That's what I'm doing today. I'm a farmer in the spirit. I'm Amen. planting seed into you. Yes. How am I doing that? By the words that I speak. What words am I speaking? The words of God. Amen. That's why I tell people, when people come to me, I say, let's go to the word. You see? Because, again, it's word. <laughs> I wish I could make a, a W. It's word, man. <laughs> it's word. Amen. Remember that. It's word. <laughs> <laughs> if believers, if he does his part, remember this, seed will produce. Amen? If I'm doing my part, I know that that seed that, I, that I'm talking about right now, as I'm watering the seed that's in you, it grows. Amen? Because I pray that everybody that come in this place, they grow a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. As I continue to search the scriptures, and we all continue to search the scriptures, right, the doctor? We continue to grow. We continue to get uh, wisdom. We continue to get understanding. We continue to get peace. We continue to produce good fruits out of our lives. Amen. If, I, I'm saying, he, the believer, he who does his part, see will what? Produce. In order for us to operate in the dominion of this earth, which we were created, Jesus has given us what? His church. Amen. Jesus, again, has given us his church. In other words, the keys of authority for our victory in our spiritual warfare. Amen. Again, we don't fight against what? Flesh and blood. We fight against demons. I want to say exactly what they are. It's demons, man. Those things that are negative, that are totally constant, that hate God, amen, and hate you. Amen. That wants to destroy you. You've got to be aware. Don't get, don't get in a, what was it, a semi coma and think about everything that's all right. No, the devil's always out there trying to see yeah. how can he get to you. Always. always. And his demonic spirit. That's why we got to bind and we got to loose. Amen. And continue to empower ourselves and the words that we speak have authority yeah. that we can go to someone and say, get out of them. Amen. Whatever demon they have in them, you have the power. God wants to use that power through you and I. Amen. Remember, Jesus has given us his church, which is the keys of authority for victory and spiritual warfare. As we discover these keys and how to use them effectively, listen to me, effectively, we will find ourselves living in what? In victory, right? In vict uh, Nina, we'll find ourselves living in what? In victory over the struggles of life. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Yes, 
we find ourselves becoming what Jesus has already declared us to be. See, to say this, uh, to say and to do the will of God. That his kingdom and his and his will will be done where? Here on earth. Let your will be done here on earth. Amen. Amen. Remember, God watches over his word. Let me tell you this. God watches over his word to perform it. Amen. Jesus taught us to pray, and we know that it will be, it says what? The Lord said that your will simply what? Be done. Right? Where? On earth as it is what? In heaven. That's it. Am I speaking? That's the question you got to ask. Am I speaking the word and his will in my realm of who I am? Amen. Of my authority that taking over the keys that the word of God has given me and you. And speaking the word, are we doing that? Honestly, check yourself out. Are you sharing the word of God with everywhere you go? With other believers or other people? Let's just say people. Remember, they're children of God too, whether they're not serving the Lord or not. This is why we were anointed to share that love, to preach the gospel. Always remember that. Amen. You know, we're saved. Remember I did a message with, uh, remember, we're saved to do what? To serve. Why are we saved? To serve one another. Amen. You see, it's like that only, what I've given you, God is saying simply give unto others. If I show you mercy and love, give that out to others. Right, y'all? Yes. If I'm giving you, give others. If, you, if you're hungry, right? I mean, if they're hungry, feed them. You know, if they don't have no clothes, close them. Help them. That's what, that's what the word is all about. And we make it so complicated. And we play these religious things. And church has become a, I don't want to go there, but let's be honest. Church has become something different than when God had planned. That's why we got to go back to those principles, the foundation of who God is in the church and realizing the power and authority that God has given us and the keys to the kingdom. Are you sure you got the right key? Let me put it that way. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Who has it? Amen. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast seen well, mm -hmm. for I will hasten my word to perform it. Amen. Amen. In other words, the Lord is saying to you, I mean, let me say that, you have seen very well, and I am watching, listen to me, I am watching to make sure that you, that my message, rather, to you comes true. That's what that means. Just let this turn. Say that again. That the Lord said to me, you have seen very well, and I am watching to make sure that my message to you comes true. Amen. That's why I say, you think that God don't know what you're doing? You think that God don't know the thoughts in your mind? Amen. And in your heart? First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Who has it? First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Amen. That's it, right? In other words, the saying, Christ carried our sins in his body. Is that the truth? Yes. Where? On this cross right here. Amen. Amen. He did this so that we would stop what? Living for sin. And living for what is right. By his womb, 
we were what? Healed Amen. by his wound and to do things right. Amen. Psalms 107, verse 20. Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Amen. Again. What? He sent his word and he healed them and delivered, see that word? Delivered them from the, what? Their destruction. That's our stinking thinking. We start thinking like the world. We start acting like the world. And the world tells you you got to look this way. You got to do it this way. Uh, this is how you get success. This and that. It's all lies. They're just trying to manipulate you. Amen. And use you. But the word sets us free and delivers us of all those things. And we know that, that God loves us so much that someone else, he had to come down a part of himself to hang on a cross so we can have this forgiveness and to be restore mankind to what God's will was from day one. Man, I hope I'm getting to you. I pray because I know that the word accomplishes what I have to say, but I pray that you understand it and, and really, uh, you know what, put it in your heart. Amen. Isaiah 54, verse 17, Nina. 17 says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue, every tongue that hey. shall rise against thee mm -hmm. in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Mm -hmm. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. So again, no weapon, no weapon. formed against you shall prosper. Uh, isn't that, I mean, to say that to somebody, you got to have power. Yeah. You got to have authority. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then the receiver has to what? Believe. And he's demonstrated to us. Amen. Always leads back to the cross. Amen. Oh, man, the word is so, I love the word. I love knowledge. I want to learn knowledge. That, man, that, that keeps me moving. Amen, right, Natasha? It keeps me bearing fruits. Amen. It keeps me in check. It keeps me, uh, you know, uh, in joy and in peace. Amen. Uh, I can lay my head down. Amen. And you know what? And I can, you know, peace. I can speak to God. And God wakes me up sometimes two or three in the morning. I get up and I just say, thank you, Lord. Amen, because I know he has a fresh word that's going to what? Empower me to give me strength to overcome the, the, the desires of the devil to try to get me to get doubt and not believe. But I come to put my foot on his neck today. Amen. And let him know that, again, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. You under my feet. Amen. Amen. That's authority. That's power. Why? Because he that is in me has given me this power. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. The world tells you you need this, you need that. But according to the, my Father, which is in heaven, says, But my God, my God, shall supply all your needs according to what? To his riches where? In glory. By who? Glory. By Christ Jesus. Amen. First John chapter 2 verse 14. First John chapter 2 verse 14. I write to you dear children because you know the Father. I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men because you are strong and the word of our Lord remains and you have overcome. Yeah. It says what? I have written to you fathers because you have known him who is from what? The beginning. I have written to you young men because you are strong and in the word. Again, listen. You are what? Strong and in the word of who? Of God who what? Abides in who? In you, and you have what? Overcome.
become what? The wicked one. That's the power, man. He can try whatever he got. In other words, remember, uh, what was his name? The guy with the fang thing. You can't touch this. Amen. <laughs> you can try to, to get into my mind, but you can't touch this heart because it already belongs to my father. Amen. And just like uh, uh, Jesus said, man, get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Amen. Hey, look out. <laughs> oh, Father. Remember, we can overcome by what? By his word. Pray like Jesus taught us to pray, which is in Matthew 6, 10. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right? On earth as it is in heaven. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Again, this is what it's all about, my sisters and brothers. That's why I'm here today. That's why I'm going to be here every day. Until the day crawl, until the day that God comes for me, I'm going to continue to speak the word. I'm going to continue to walk in the supernatural, and I'm going to continue to have a door, my brothers and sisters, that you can come here, amen, and we want to bless you. We want to speak the truth into your life, amen, because God has given us the keys and the authority to go out to the byways, to the highways, to the airways, to speak the truth, nothing but the truth. He not so help us who? So help us God. So again, remember, that we can overcome by his word. Pray like Jesus taught us. Again, your kingdom comes, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that's it. And you just got to believe and trust it. Amen. So again, I come this morning and I pray because I know that what I've spoken and what I believe, amen, has authority. And you can have that in your life right now. It's so simple, man. Just confess it to the Lord and give yourself completely. Amen. And get into the book of life, man. Get to know the tools that God has given us and activate them in your life. Not just read them, my brothers and sisters. Let us stop playing church. And I'm not here competitioning with no one. But you know what? The devil's always trying to competition against God's will with us. And, and, and the one that he tries to destroy is you and I. But we got to remember that we have power and authority that no weapon formed against us will ever prosper because you are a child of God. You are that royal priesthood. You are more than a conqueror. Amen. You see, when you continue to continue to fill yourself with the word of God, and not only you benefit, your family benefits, your friends benefit, all of them because we see God has given us the keys and he wants us to go to our brothers and sisters because that's what they are at the end of the day, right? Our brothers and sisters that share the truth with them and knowing that the word of God is word, amen, and it's going to accomplish what it's set out to do as it did in your life, it's going to do it in their life because God has given us that commandment and an opportunity for us to continue the legacy amen. of his will and of his love and what Jesus did for you, for me, and you out there to share it with others. Amen. amen. The truth. And how do we get that? We gotta empower ourselves with the truth, and we got to activate ourselves. You see, just going to church and coming to, you know, I, I always pray. I'll be honest with you. I've been praying. I said, I, I just don't want people to come here. I want people that come that wants deliverance or whatever they're going through, you know, and say, you know, I had enough. I want to move forward in the things of God. I want to understand and be around people that are positive. They're going to be an asset into my life. Amen. And that are true people, not, not phony baloney, not full of hot air, saying something and not keeping your word. That is, now don't you know that the, if we say we represent God, the things that come out of our mouth and the, and the authority that God has given us, man, let us walk in the integrity and the truth. Let us talk about the yes. truth. Nothing but the truth because that is the only thing that will separate us from this world, amen, knowing and people will see that you are a true child of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Tired of religion, playing things in, saying things, man, God, is, don't you
you know, God is looking down from heaven and everything that we do, everything that we say, everything that's in our hearts and our minds, he already knows. Make sure that you're walking in the integrity and the love of God. Because we are the representatives of God. Just like you represent the company in the world, you represent, man, we represent something more higher than anything. We represent life. Amen. A more abundant Amen. life. Amen. Amen. So I hope I stirred your spirit again. All I can do is reach my hands out. I'm here. Those that want to come, I'm looking for those. I've been praying for those that really want to, you know, seek after truth and righteousness. Amen. And, 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 and coming together so we can go out as a team, amen, and go minister the gospel, the true love of God, but that true love of God's got to be in us first, amen. How can we give something if we don't have it? How can we preach about something if we don't live it, amen? So be careful what comes out of your mouth because words are powerful. Yeah. They have the power to resurrect and they have the power to destroy, amen. We come to resurrect. We don't come to destroy, we come to resurrect. And again, as Jesus said, He's the same yesterday and today, and his word is the same yesterday and today. That's how we should be, the same as we were the day we got saved to the day that is today yes. and to grow in the kingdom of God. Is that the truth? So I pray that you receive this morning, man, and, you know, again, we're waiting on you as the Lord is waiting on you, but he wants you to do like we do, man. Do this, right, child? Roll up your seat. Get involved. Don't be a, a, a bench warmer. <laughs> Amen? You know, get in the team. Let's play. Amen. Let us let us play. Uh, 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 I could do it a football team. You know, don't be sitting in the bench. Get in there in the game. Get in the game, so to speak. <laughs> Remember, one more time, let's say it in. Word in. Word out. Word out. Amen. So we gave you the word today, and we pray that it went in. Amen. And now you let it out to somebody else. Amen. Again, don't forget that uh, put it up. She's going to put it up now, my daughter, that this Saturday we're having Family and Friends Day. We're going to have some food, enough time to worship and uh, sharing uh, testimonies and say, just just breaking bread together. I love that. And fellowshipping. Amen. And we're looking forward for mi hermanos y mi hermanas allá en, en West Palm Beach que vienen para acá. Aleluya. Vamos a comprar. Romper pan y vamos a alabar al Señor, vamos a bailar, vamos a orar, vamos a hacer de todo en el nombre de Jesús. Right, Nina? Oh. Say, en el nombre de what? Hey. Jesús. Say, Jesús. A rompo por yo. A rompo por yo. Jesús. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing you, man. I love fellowship because I love you, amen. I want to have friendships. And I'm excited, Iris, you're coming down for the holidays, amen. And amen. I'm praying that God will work everything out, Iris, if you're still watching, amen. I love you, amen. And all of you out there, my sister Paul, I love you, amen. And those out there in New York, wherever you're watching us, we love you, amen. And we're here for you. Again, in our community here, we can help in anything. Our platform is here to encourage and to build up. We have the studio. Again, I keep saying that. But don't forget, you put the flyer up. Amen. And put the address. Now she's going to put our location there. Amen. For those that are coming on Saturday. Remember, if you Google it, it might take you to Midway Road. That's the wrong place. Try any other device that you have. The blue one. What the address? Try any other device. Huh? Few smart addresses. The few smart addresses, Victoria. Is that on there? Who took it off? It, it should be there. Amen. She got it. She got it. She put it up. Amen. That's our address. If you have any other device, come. And we'll be here. Amen. And, Same time. Huh? Time. Oh, 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> on the fly, it said it. Uh, you, you see our address there, and it's at 6 p.m. We're looking forward. We just, uh, you know, I love having people. I'm going to see who shows up, man. I'm going to you. I'm going to see who shows up. I'm if you love me. If you love me, I love you. Hey, man, I'm being real. Remember, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Let us walk in the power of truth and integrity. Amen? Is that the truth, John? We've got to walk in the power of truth and integrity. Right, uh, Brandon? We've got to walk in the truth. Amen. And again, I give a shout out to all those out there. And again, I want to thank the Lord again for this opportunity. I, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that what I've said today has stirred your spirit and tuned your ears, Lord. 
Father, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, those that maybe are going through challenges right now, whether it be sickness, finances, maybe relationships, maybe a, a you know a spiritual thing that's going on in their lives, whichever, or doubt, or maybe confusion. I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ and let them know, Father, Lord, that they can do all things through you that strengthen them, Father, Lord. You still have the last word in our healing, no matter what it looks like, Father, Lord. We just present ourselves to you, Lord, for either way, we're going to win. Amen? But, Father, Lord, if you said that you give us the desires of our heart if we believe and ask, Father, Lord, and I pray that they're asking for deliverance and healing right now in the name of Jesus. And not look to the left or to the right, but look towards you. For wherefore our prayers and our strength come from is you, Lord. And I pray right now that you give them peace, Father, but you also give them strength. That they have the keys and the authority, Lord, when they accept you into their lives to claim healing on for their bodies, Lord. And, Father, Lord, in their minds and their spirit, Father, and the will, Lord, that uh, that, that's going on in their lives, Lord. Right now, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen. Let us say it together. Amen, amen, amen. amen, amen. amen. Looking forward to seeing you Saturday. God bless you. <laughs> amen.